uh, many of us Muslims are aware that um, within Sunni Islam there's four schools of Islamic law which are common uh, the Maliki, the Hanafi, the Shafi and the Hanbali um, within Islamic theology there's three schools uh, which are common within Sunni Islam the first one is the Athari school the second one is the Ashari school and the third one is the Maturidi school the Maturidi school is founded by a man called Abu Mansur al-Maturidi and he's called al-Maturidi because Maturid is a district uh, in Samarkand so he's from this land and he's responsible for being the head of one of the three uh, Islamic schools of uh, theology and he's buried right here in this tomb behind me just about 200 or 300 meters from the hotel that I'm staying in I'm just gonna take my shoes off and then we'll go in this is Ulug Beg Assalamu Alaikum he's my friend who told me lots of very nice stories about uh, about uh, this man Abu Mansur Al Maturidi. لا تتكلم إنجليزية. أنا لا لا أتكلم. الحمد لله الحمد لله. يتكلم تتكلم عربي نعم. He speaks a bit of Arabic. He's told me so much about this place, and I'll share with you later on in the video, إن شاء الله. شكرا. شكرا لك. شكرا حبيبي. شكرا. إلى اللقاء. إلى اللقاء. So this is uh, the grave. Interestingly, this district which this man is from is called Maturid. And Ulugh Beg just told me, he's not the pre Ulugh Beg obviously from 600 years ago, but Ulugh Beg just told me um, that the reason why uh, that area is called Maturid is because when Qutayba ibn Muslima came to the area and conquered Samarkand, he wanted to make a nice area, but the area he was planning to make this uh, mini city in, uh, in Samarkand, um, was very barren. Um, and all of a sudden, as the story goes, Khidr appeared. Khidr uh, from the story of Musa and Khidr from, from the Quran. And Khidr said to Qutayba ibn Muslim, Maturid, in Arabic meaning, what do you want? So he said, Urid Nahar, I want a river. So a miracle happened and a river appeared and it, uh, uh, it gave life to the barren desert and that is where they built uh, the area of Maturid where this man came from a few centuries later. It's up to you whether you want to believe the story or not. Another interesting thing that Ulugh Beg told me was if we come and we look at these stones here next to the grave I don't know if you can see it on the video but there's actually Arabic inscribing on the stones and that is because these are the heads of gravestones uh, of many people who were martyred when Genghis Khan invaded the area. Um, and subsequent generations down the line, after the city had been de destroyed or lost in the sand, they found these, two, uh, these gravestones inscribed on them were the names of the people who died at the hands of Genghis Khan when he entered Ma Warahan Nahar or Transoxiana or modern day Uzbekistan uh, in the early 1200s. What's interesting um, about Abu Mansur al Maturidi's school of theology is that he lived in the land of the Turks, and these Turks were migrating people. And wherever these, when these Turks were here, they learned the theology that was taught in this area, which was the Maturidi school of Sunni Islam. But they were migrating people, so they kept on moving. So for example, when the Seljuk Turks came through here and carried on migrating west, they ended up in Anatolia. 
and they carried with them this man's creed. And therefore, the Ottomans were followers of the Maturidi branch of Sunni theology. Also, many Turks from Central Asia migrated um, and took over parts of northern India, namely the Delhi Sultanate, and then the most famous Indian uh, Islamic kingdom after that, which was obviously the Mughal Empire. But the creed which they took with them was the Maturidi creed. So many people around the world, many Sunnis around the world, believe what they believe because of this man who, was, who came about 1,100 years ago, was born in Samarkand in the, in the uh, area called Maturid and died here and taught many people who spread his school of theology throughout many uh, areas of the Muslim world. Another interesting story that um, the uh, grave attendant uh, Ulughberg told me um, of, uh, regarding Samarkand was the, the building of the first mosque uh, in Samarkand by Qutayb ibn Muslim. Um, if you've seen my other video on the historical timeline of Islam in Central Asia, um, you will have seen uh, the clip where I'm at the Khidr Mosque um, and where I mentioned that this was built by Qutayb and his forces. Um, Ulugh Beg just told me that at the time when they were building this masjid there was a big dispute as to where the direction of the Qibla was um, and they were fighting over it um, but again Khidr appeared and Khidr informed them of the direction of the Qibla and um, therefore they built the mosque in that direction which Khidr had told them um, and then from then on it, was, it became known as the, the Khidr Mosque.